Uh, I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. Don't write this down. I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to write this. What? Even though that's, I'm, I'm approximating here, I'm approximating here, I'm approximating here. Can anyone suggest to me why maybe this is probably a bridge too far? Yeah. Because um, then when you get the actual answer minus six, then you'll get a different equation which makes it all wrong. Okay, so these numbers here. It's too far. It's too, it, it's too far? Why is this too far? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why is this too far? And you guys seem like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You're like, you're enthusiastically nodding. This is okay. Why? Because it's just a few numbers up. It's just a few numbers up? Sean, what do you think? That's one decimal place, and that's one whole, like, whole new number. Huh. That's, that's one decimal But anyway... So this is one decimal place, this is zero decimal places. Why is there such a big difference? Rastin, what are you thinking? You're moving the graph one... 0.5 decimal places. Yeah. 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 Y
disgusting. I have no idea what that's going to be, right? It'll be some weird decimal, okay? And that was not what we were focused on. We were focused on the relationships between the sides, okay? Here, though, we're, we're past the point where you know what to do with this. We want some precision as well because you're stage six now, okay? Does that make sense? So we're going to say, you know what? Sometimes you're going to get weird looking answers. Deal with it, <laughs> okay? All right, I'm going to put this on. Do we have enough information to draw a line through all of these? No. You happy with it? No. no? Why not? Okay, so, so we said down here we want a vertex, right? Now I'm going to suggest you could still draw something through this, right? In fact, I'm going to do that right now, but it's just not, I don't know 100% where it goes, right? I'm going to draw something and I think it looks something like this. Do you have something that looks roughly like that? Now, you might, <laughs> it's like, no, I don't. Mine looks totally different, okay? <laughs> wow, having your brother's keeper, that's handy, okay. Um, so we were talking about the vertex, right? You're like, oh, I don't, I, we don't know where the vertex is. Well, I haven't calculated it just yet, okay? Now, you will notice I've placed it on the left of the axis. I haven't calculated where it is, but I've placed it to the left. How do you think I knew it was on the left? How do you think I knew? The vertex is going to have to be the axis of symmetry. I can get the vertex once I know where the axis of symmetry is. I don't know where either of them are right now. But that axis of symmetry, it's, some, it's an axis of symmetry. It has to be symmetrical, right? So it's got to be between these two guys. Yeah? Do you have your ruler there? Maybe pop your ruler. Thank you. <laughs> no, no one's next door. So it, this is big enough, thankfully. Okay, you can pop your ruler there, literally, right? And you can say, oh, on my on my piece of paper, that's like seven centimeters. Well, I should have picked an even number. Eight centimeters, right? So it, four will be in the middle, and there is where I'm eyeballing, right? That's where my axis of symmetry should be. That's how I actually drew it. Raston. But we don't know how general of um, the is Correct. We do not know. Did you catch that? Raston said we do not know. How, how down or up it is. We don't know its vertical position. So I know roughly horizontally where it is, but I don't know precisely, um, and I don't know how far up or down. So let's go ahead and work this out. Okay, How can we find this axis of symmetry? Well, you said it was halfway between these two roots. Halfway between. It's the average of the roots. How do you find the average between two numbers? What do you do? You add them and then you divide by two. Can we give that a go? You've got the two numbers here, right? If we add them and then divide by two, what happens? 